and a good morning from uh, from Steg. Another day, another walk. This time I'm going to do tour number 20 out of this wonderful book, 20 walks around Zurich and the Zurich Sea. So where do we go? We're going to climb the Schnebelhorn, which apparently is the, the highest mountain in the canton of Zurich with 1292 meters. I'm currently at um, around 695 meters. So uh, we have to do uh, quite a climb. Seems to be uh, a wonderful, a wonderful walk with beautiful views. Um, I hope the weather doesn't let us down though. It looks uh, a little bit too cloudy for my taste, but um, now let's hope it's all uh, gonna get uh, better. So no, this is where the climb starts. I've been warned that it's uh, quite a steep uh, ascent straight from the beginning. So um, curious what we will find. It's an interesting warning sign along the way. So welcome to Burstel, 860 meters. Uh, we just did a steep climb out of uh, Steck, and uh, which took us about 45 minutes. And it's another two hours to go to the Schnebelhorn according to the plate with all the directions uh, behind me. So really, really looking forward to the rest of the trip. And thanks for walking with me.
So I'm now at uh, Hirtzek, 1090 uh, meters. Uh, that means we did quite a, a steep climb already, but another 200 meters to go. Uh, the last part was really, really beautiful. Very, very uh, narrow uh, path. Uh, really, let's say between two deep valleys, you know, crossing uh, a ridge through the woods. Really, really beautiful. Can highly, highly recommend this trip. Looking forward to the rest. Uh, weather is doing uh, doing great. It is uh, warm, but not uh, not too warm. And uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed this uh, this trip so far. Highly recommend it. This is very dirty. This is quite heavy. This is really heavy. I'm getting really, really tired. I honestly hope that this is the, the top. So, just made it to the Schnebelhorn, 1292 uh, meters. Beautiful view of the of the landscape. Really, really great uh, trip. Really looking forward to doing this again soon. Typical Swiss, on the left side we have the canton of St. Gallen and on the right side Zurich. It's quite a complex negotiation here. Going down looks <laughs> pretty scary actually.
in uh, Tierhoog. This used to be a, uh, a mountain uh, restaurant. I think it is uh, it's currently being renovated. Um, but it was really, really steep from um, from the Schneeborn to um, to Tierhoog. Really, really steep. But can cannot recommend that one. Uh, I recommend you highly to uh, to find an alternative. Now we're now entering uh, Beerloch. I'm not sure what makes this so special, except for um, a single house and what seems to be a garage, but um, I'm sure we'll find out. So now working back from uh, Barloch to Steck, I must honestly say this is quite long and quite boring. Uh, there are a couple of shortcuts along the way which I uh, ignored. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you to ignore them. Once you've been to the Schneeborn, basically get down ASAP. I've seen such an informal official path. <laughs> it looks more like a jungle than uh, a Swiss meadow, but let's see where we get. It's becoming here. It is becoming actually quite a nice road again. Um, but it was surely an experimental piece in the midst of all the plants. Ah, look, beautiful small waterfall. I think this is the most widely road used <laughs> so far. Ah, this looks like it's come on a little bit more than a normal stretch. Anyway, very informal path.
So, now in Obruti, 724 meters high. Uh, just came back from uh, Barlow. Uh, I must say the road from uh, Barlow to here is quite boring. Um, it's to a large extent, it is across uh, you know, gravel roads. Not, not highly recommended. Um, but anyway, it's all part of the deal. Thanks for walking with me. And now let's go on for the last stretch to stack.